Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at some Maya modeling tricks and secrets. So today we're going to look at quadrangulate n-gons in one click, create nodes in the hypershade with a hotkey, and how to search by name to find the menu you're looking for in Maya. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up, we've got the quadrangulate n-gons uh, trick or technique. So basically what often happens is you'll go here and select a bunch of edges, and then you'll go and hold shift, right click, and you'll say fill hole. And that's great, but when you import this mesh into a game engine, it's going to have to triangulate all this, and sometimes the triangulation will like go across here and fill in the gaps that you don't want. So what you're supposed to do with weird shapes like this, kind of like horseshoe shaped or other like funky shapes, is you're supposed to go in and you're supposed to give it like an edge that it can kind of keep it from like filling in that shape. So this would probably be fine. Auto triangulating it in a game engine from there would probably not fill in the excess part here. But I find that actually really slow and tedious. I don't want to have to go in and like hand cut all this stuff or whatever. So basically what I want to do is I want to like just fill the hole and then click a magic button and have it do automatically for me. And so the trick to doing that is you go into here and you go fill hole, and then you go to the face and you select the face, and then you go into triangulate faces, and then you get that, and that's all nasty. You don't want to work with that uh, inside of Maya. So then you go in again, shift right click and go in again. Instead of triangulate faces, you go to quadrangulate faces. And boom, there you go. So you get this nice, like, pretty clean mesh, and it's got mostly, like, straight lines or whatever. You could clean that guy up manually if you wanted to. And, uh, and you're ready to go. So now I want to get that down to one click, because I don't want to go through the, like, 30 menus or whatever. It's going to hold tab there and select that and delete that guy so we can go through the process again. So what we're going to do is make ourselves a tiny little script to uh, do that all in one click. So an easy way to do that is we know all the steps that we took to get there. So we'll just add them as buttons up here temporarily, and then we'll copy the values from those and paste them all into one. So basically, we're going to go to Mesh, and we're going to go to Fill Hole, and then we're going to hold Shift and Control on the keyboard, and then left click. And instead of activating the Fill Hole, it's going to add a button here for us to fill hole. So I'm just going to select the edges here. Oops, they're already selected. I'm going to click the button and it's going to fill the hole. And so next, I need a way to automatically select the faces, and that can be done through Select, Convert Selection. And then what are we looking for here? We're looking for uh, Convert to Contained Faces. And then if you just click it, you'll see what happens. It grabs the faces of those edges. So again, hold Control, hold Shift, left click, and then we've got that button up there. And then next up, go to Mesh and go to Triangulate, click it, and you can see what it does. And then go back and Control and Shift and left click, and then you get it there. And then finally, we're going to go back into Mesh. And same thing, we're looking for Quadrangulate. So same thing, uh, Control, Shift, click, and then we're going to get it there. And then if we just left click to run it, you'll see what happens. And then boom, there's our final result. So that's how we got to it going through all the steps manually. OK, so let's combine all those into one click. So let's uh, right click on this guy here and just go to Edit. And it's going to open up that. And then we're going to put a semicolon there, because in MelScript, you need a semicolon if it's going to um, do this, whatever this command is, and then run the next line as well. And we're just going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to click on this guy and hit Edit. And we're going to grab this, copy this into the clipboard. And then just go back into this guy and paste it and do a semicolon, hit enter, and then over here to the triangulate, same thing, edit, whatever, grab that code there, go back to the original guy, enter and paste, oops, don't forget the semicolon. And then finally, what do we have here? Contain faces, triangulate, and then we need the quadrangulate. So again, right click this, go edit copy all this junk, and then go back to here and click Edit, and then paste that in there, put a semicolon at the end there. And then I'm just going to click uh, onto Shelves here, the Shelves tab. And then I'm going to go down. This is the um, button that I was working on here. I'm going to go down here. You can put whatever the tooltip is you want. Um, 
fill quads, whoops, fill hole and convert to quads. And I'm just going to give it a label. So quads, I'll call it. And there we go. We can see it there. Save all shelves. And so we've got our button here now. Okay, let's try it out. This is exciting. Okay, so um, grab those guys, delete those, go to edge mode, select the edges of the hole that you want to fill and click it. And let's see what happens. Boom, one click, done. Super cool. So everything's quantified and the hole is filled at the same time. Pretty cool. And while we're here, let's actually make another version that could um, actually, let's here, let's just delete these. We'll make another version that could quantify this if it wasn't quads. So here, I'm just going to quickly delete that because you might have like a shape like this. It might, you might not need to fill the hole. You might want to take an existing piece of geometry and do it that way. And you don't want to use the script we just made because it's got the fill hole in it. So watch this. If I were to click it, it looks like it's working. But if you look at the bottom side, it's actually created double faces. See, so that would be a nightmare to work with. So we just need to get a clean piece of geometry here and we'll make a second button that does the same thing, but it just doesn't do the fill hole. So um, to make a dummy button, probably the quickest way to do that is just type anything here. It doesn't matter. We're going to delete this and then just select that. Uh, from the mail window there, and then middle mouse drag and hold, hold down middle mouse and drag it up to the shelf until it says plus and then release and say yes, you want a mail script, and then you'll get a button here. So just uh, go up here and right click and say edit, and we'll just give it a name so we know what we're doing. So quads, whoops, hit enter. So we have a here, we'll call it quads two just so we don't get confused. Save all. Uh, okay, so right click the original one and go to edit and we'll just copy all this stuff we'll just start with the same script copy that to the clipboard go into here like i said we didn't need that text okay so and then we'll just delete the fill hole so we'll take uh probably don't even want that delete that convert selection to faces as well so we'll just do the last two parts of it which is super handy and then click that save all shelves and uh, i'm actually going to rename this guy to be something more descriptive so like let's say like f quads for fill hole and convert to quads it's got f quads and then we've got this guy here which is just going to be quads and save all cool so let's test it out so select the face and click the quads and boom there you go one click quadified and what's cool too, uh, maybe you've had a triangulated model and it was annoying because it came in triangulated. Maybe you exported an FBX from Unreal or something like that, or 3D Studio Max or whatever. This happens all the time. You get someone's quadded model and you want to clean it up. So the cool thing is uh, for like simple shapes like this or whatever, you could use your same quad script and you could de-triangulate it using the same button in one click. So that's super handy. And then you could either select this guy and go down to fill hole and do the same thing. Click that and click quads there. And it's not going to do a great job because it just doesn't know how to do it. So, I mean, that's the best you can get on the top of a cylinder. So uh, results will vary. But uh, for those funky, weird, like organic shapes, it can be super helpful to convert this stuff over in one click. Okay, next up, we have the hypershade and how you can create all of the nodes, any of the nodes here uh, with a hockey. Super cool. So... Basically, it's pretty simple. The trick is if you want to create anything here that you kind of know the name of already, like maybe you want to make a Lambert material, all you do is click in here and then you press the tab key on the keyboard. So click that and it brings up this uh, little window here and then you just start typing the name of what you want. So I just type L and Lambert came up. So then you just go down and boom, hit enter. And then there you go, you've got a Lambert. So um, it can be handy. You could even like close these you become an expert at this and uh, like close all that stuff off, hide all that stuff that you don't need, or even like close that totally. And then just come in here and press the tab key and type layered texture, for example. And then boom, there's your layered texture and you're ready to like start hooking that stuff up. So that can be super handy as well. Okay, and finally, we have got the uh, search by name to find the menu. This is actually super cool. The implementation is not that great. It's not as good as how they did it in Unreal, where you just start typing and it magically shows you the menu, but it is still super helpful. So what this tool does is if you forgot 
where a menu is in Maya, but you know the name of the menu or the name of the tool you're looking for, you can search for it. So for example, a couple days ago, I was looking for the search and replace names feature and I could not find it because they moved it to a different location between 2016 and 2018. And I don't use that tool a lot. And it was like I was searching on the internet. It was so annoying. I could not find the thing. So all you have to do is go to help. This is like a pretty hidden feature. Like I've been using Maya for 18 plus years at this point, And I did not know about this until recently. So you click on help and you go find menu. And then here you search for the name of the menu. So I knew it was called search and replace. But I didn't remember where it was. And then you just click enter and it tells you, oh, it's modify search and replace names. So then you go modify search and replace name. Boom, there it is. So you can find anything through here. You can even do a simple search like uh, bevel. Hit enter. And it tells you modeling menu, edit mesh bevel, modeling surface bevel. It tells you where all the bevels are for the entire thing. Another tool that I haven't used in 400 years was the transfer maps tool. I just needed to do some random crap. I did not need to bake a normal map. That tool is awful. Never use that tool except for very specific cases. But uh, transfer maps. And there it is, it tells you. Okay, it's in the rendering tab, lighting, shading, transfer maps. Again, I believe that one moved between my 2016 and my 2018. But regardless, this is a lifesaver. Such a cool tool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a groovy day.